Hey what's good it's your boy Matthew Michael and in today's video we are back again with another options for beginners tutorial followed up by a Robin Hood walkthrough. Today in this video I'll be going over what I believe to be are some of the best practices when buying a call. And then after that we'll actually hop on over to the handy dandy Robin Hood and we're going to use that criteria to buy a call ourselves. But first I would just like to take a moment to remind y'all that I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is just what happens to work best for me. So my advice to you is to do your homework and figure out what works best for you. But real fast, before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. I will be posting another one of these next Wednesday, so don't miss out. And also be sure to make sure and go down there and make sure that gray thumbs up turns blue. I work hard on these videos and that's all I really ask in return. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so it was brought to my attention that in last week's video, I left out a very crucial term that is essential to understanding the options that you are picking. And that term is the break-even price. So what the break-even price is, it's the price that a stock needs to be at on expiration to have not lost any money, but to also not have taken any profits, aka just breaking even. Anything below that is a loss, anything above that is profit. And as the option moves into the money, this is where profits come from. And as it moves out of the money or further away from the money, this is where your losses begin to occur. And that brings me to one other thing about last week's video that I told you incorrectly. And I'm sorry, I swear it's a last thing that I messed up last week, but uh, here it is. So in last week's video, what I told you was in the money and out of the money was backwards because I was going too fast and I, I guess I guess I kind of confused myself. So really fast, we're going to re-go over this again. Okay, so we're in Robin Hood. Let's pick a random stock. All right, so we're doing Intel. Okay, so we're here looking at a call right now and the price of the share is 59.62. So if we bought this 59.50 call, what is going to be in the money is everything below if the share price is above the price of the option the option is in the money so as this goes up and this bar moves if this goes up to 60 this 60 dollar call will be in the money if it goes up to 650 it's 650 call will be in the money so everything below for a call is in the money all of this is in the money notice the further in the money it is the more money it's worth look at that this one's worth 1400 dollars right here yeah and then vice versa for a put so if we look at a put in the money this 550 is now out of the money. Everything above for a put is in the money. So basically a good way to know if you're in or out of the money is if you see the price of the contracts going up, it's likely you're moving deeper and deeper into the money. And as the price of the contracts are going down, it is likely you're moving further and further out of the money. I'm 1000% positive I told y'all correctly this time, but if I told y'all wrong again, Hey, get on me in the comments. Let me know everything you want to hear in the comments, but uh, let's get on with the video. Now, what I would say are my best practices when it comes to purchasing options are, of course, buying the option with time on it. I know many of you are here because you saw me making 50 to $100 a day trading options. The reason that I was comfortable doing this with those options is because for each and every one of those options, I made sure I had time on them. Because I bought each of those options with time on them, I didn't really have to worry about theta, which is the time decay of an option. I didn't have to worry about it destroying the value of my options much. So when I'm trading discipline, I like to buy my options with an expiration date 30 to 45 days from today's current date. And then the next thing I do is buy in the money. On this channel, you'll probably see me cheap out on options a lot, but when I'm trading in my discipline, I buy the option in the money. And the reason that I buy it in the money is because it comes with more padding. If it falls out of the money, it will lose that padding. But because of the fact that I bought it in the money, I have more of a cushion before I start losing money on that option and you don't have to worry about the option losing as much value to time decay as you would if you bought out of the money as options that are in the money they don't suffer from theta eating at them as heavily as something out of the money so i like to look at it kind of like a get out of jail card maybe you don't have any day trades you don't want to be a pattern day trader luckily you bought in the money you realize you made a bad decision the next day you can still get out and not have lost much if you lost anything at all assuming the stock didn't just take a huge plunge depending on where in the money you bought it i like to just think of it as added protection so these two things are absolutely crucial to what i would say is a smart play they really increase the probability of me taking profits which is overall good for me options is kind of like a game of chess whoever has the best strategy is more likely to come out on top there are circumstances when the lower probability occurs but really with options you just want to stack the odds in your favor and if you have a great risk 
make sure the reward is even greater. Now that I've shared these two things with you, let's hop into Robinhood and buy a call. Okay, so as you can see, we're here in the Henny Danny Robinhood and we are doing amazing on the day. We are up 32% and the goal right now is only 20, so we're doing good. We're, we're doing real good on the day. Yeah, let's hop in and buy a call. Okay, so we're going to pick a stock. Ooh, Apple. Apple is going down. It's trying to bounce. Okay, so we're going to use Apple just for this video and I'm going to get time on it so I really don't feel like I have to worry about it. Okay, so today is January 21st. So I like to go 30 days. So the 21st, February 21st would be the day. All right, so these calls are expensive, but I'm doing this for you guys. I'm showing y'all the process and I may even decide to hold on to it for a bit, but I am going to grab this 360 call. I'm going to grab one and we're going to take a look. Okay, so as you can see, I have it 30 to 45 days out. Okay, so I did that. Hold up, but I didn't buy it in the money. So we are actually not going to, we're not going to do Apple because it didn't necessarily meet my best trade criteria even though i would probably take profits off this because it's going up if i sold tomorrow i'm not doing my due diligence buying in the money so i'm actually going to look elsewhere uh, somewhere else i like to go to do this is okay so i like pfe i'll trade options on pfe so 30 days out is the 21st and buying in the money is this 40 dollar call like we said earlier in the money for a call is going to be everything below this line right here so I'm going to get this $40 call and I want it to fill it right away. So what I'm going to do is right here for the limit price, the ask is 91 cents. So since I want it to be filled right away, I'm going to put in my price, set my limit price at the 91 cents. I'm going to hit review and then swipe up to submit. And now you can see my order was filled. My order was filled to buy the contract. And I actually got it for $90. They lowered their ask price as I was buying that. So it worked out, got to spend $1 less. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna hit done and that is the trade. So as you can see here, the value of it is 89 cents. And don't worry about that collateral. I actually have another order going in. So don't worry about this collateral right here, you see. Everything else, you'll see that uh, I'm, I'm in here, I bought it. Uh, the value of it is $89 right now. So if you see today's return, that means right now, as of today, I am down $1 on it. And where it says total return right here, since I'm on PFE, if I had a bunch of different contracts, it would show me my overall return for all of them. But right here, I can click on the PFE $40 call and you can actually see that now I'm broken even. Today's return is zero, the total return is zero. And for this, it's really the same as that other screen. And you can see there are 60 people who wanna buy it for 89 cents. Uh, right here where it says ask, there are 57 people who wanna sell it for 91 cents. And that's what we're getting at 90 from. It's right there in the middle. It's the midway price. This option today actually hit a high of $1.06. And right now it's at 90 cents and it looks like it started the day off at 82 cents so you see where holding options for some time can really give you some good opportunities one last thing i wanted to tell you about this is right here where it says total return if i made a dollar today and then tomorrow it's up like five dollars the total return will be six but today's return will be five okay but that's that's going to be it for what i'm showing you in robin hood if you have any questions about anything that i just showed you Feel free to ask down below in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. I just showed you how to buy a call on Robinhood. If you're considering buying a call, it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe go through and replay this video and walk through and do it with me in this video so we can kind of walk through hand in hand if you like the way I do it, just to make sure you're not missing any discipline. Like I said, if you have any questions or comments, hey, comment down below. If you don't want to ask anything in the comments, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Matthew Michael Money. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content or giveaways. Uh, we actually have a giveaway coming soon. Oh yeah, and just a head start for the giveaway, be sure to smash the like button. Expect to see new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and thank you so much for watching. Peace.